Hey YouTube, welcome back to my data structures in TypeScript series. In this video, we're going to go over queues. What is a queue? A queue is a linear data structure, and unlike the array and linked list, a queue only supports insertion and deletion from the ends of the list. So we cannot insert or remove elements from the middle. It's only supported at the both ends of the list. So the stack supports insertion and deletion from the top or one side, whereas Q, you can enqueue and dequeue elements from the list from the front, from the back and front. So here is a nice diagram. We're enqueuing elements to the back of the queue. And then when we dequeue elements, we get it from the front of the queue. You can think of queue insertion and deletion operations as the same way you view lines in real life, lines and queues. So for example, on the bottom left, we have a picture of LV, Louis Vuitton, dropping some sort of clothes, and there's people lining up. So the first person to get served is the first person to have lined up, right? This is called the first in, first out. We don't want to service people in the back. We want to service people that have lined up first. And the same thing on the bottom right, we have a picture of a queue of tasks, which is for the printer. So we want the first person that actually hit print to be the first one to be served. It doesn't make sense to, to serve the person that's in the middle or last. And this is what you call first, first come, first serve, first in, first out. A queue is used in many places in programming. The first one that you might see is something like an output stream. So you're streaming data to some sort of uh, destination from a source. And that's similar to a queue because the first one that goes in the stream has to be the first one to come out. And a queue is also used in a bunch of algorithms. One basic one is breadth first search when you're traversing a tree. So going into the implementation of the queue, a queue is very basic. It's similar to the stack in the sense that we leverage the linked list and the we only we we abstract the linked list and create a wrapper around it such that we only support operations at the front and back of the of the linked list. So here I have the head and tail and I you can use the head as the front or back and and likewise for the tail, but I for some reason enjoy or I prefer using the tail as the back of the queue. So when I insert elements, I'm going to insert to the back of the linked list and when I dequeue or remove elements, I'm just going to remove it from the front or head of the linked list. And because we're leveraging a linked list, we get constant time operations for enqueuing and dequeuing because all we're doing is removing and inserting elements from the head and tail. So that's constant time operations since the linked list has references to those head and tail pointers. And likewise for peak and front, peak front and back, it's also constant because we're just peaking the elements. So that was a quick overview of the queue, a very basic data structure yet powerful as well. And in the next video, we're going to go over the implementation of the queue, which is quite simple like the stack. So I'll see you in the next video.